Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss descriptive statistics using R programming, which we can also call numerical summaries. So we'll try to figure out the statistics, the summary statistics of some data using R program. I'm your instructor Rajesh Durwala and I'm an assistant professor in the field of business analytics and research methodology. So going ahead with our session today, basically our program has a host of built-in functions for computing sample statistics for both numerical that is both continuous and discrete and categorical data. So when I say it is capable of computing both numerical as well as categorical data that is to say numerical data that is represented in the form of numbers and at the same time categorical data which talks about nominal data which we say like labels okay they may be in the form of numbers but they are labels in fact okay so we'll try to figure out how to derive the descriptive statistics of both when we talk about numerical data we can also deal with continuous and discrete data continuous data talks about a range and discrete data talks about a specific value okay like let us say how many pets do i have three four maybe it cannot be 3.5 or it cannot be 3.57 such kind of a data is called discrete data right so moving ahead for numerical data there are certain functions which we can use in our r program let us say when I need to find the arithmetic mean, this is the function that I'm going to use. This is the command mean bracket open and whatever the variable is within the brackets and close the brackets. Likewise, for the sample median, I'll use this command median bracket open and bracket close. Then find number summary. Okay, if I need to find the find number summary, again, this is the command find num bracket open bracket close now you may be curious to know what is five number summary this command will give you the output in the form of the minimum value of the data or sample the maximum value the median okay that is to say both the extremes and the center value and then the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile okay so if I put all these five numbers in an ascending order it would be the minimum value, the 25th percentile, the median, the 75th percentile, and then the maximum value in the given data. Okay? And the next command that is summary, bracket open, bracket close, it's a generic model summary. Okay? It will give you the mean, median, okay, standard deviation, the variance. Okay? So all the kind of summary statistics that you will require. Uh, it can also give you the values of kurtosis and all those basic stuff that you will require okay once we get into problems we can see what it is capable of doing then these commands min bracket open bracket close then max bracket open bracket close obviously this will give you the minimum value this is going to give you the maximum value of the given sample and then quantile so this will calculate the percentiles okay when I use the command quantile bracket open bracket close, it will give me the values 25th percentile, 50th percentile, the 100th percentile, the 75th percentile. Okay. Then I have variance. Okay. For variance, I'll use var bracket open bracket close. For standard deviation, it's bracket open bracket close. Then I have covariance and correlation. For covariance, it is cov bracket open bracket close. And for correlation, it is C O R bracket open bracket close. Okay, so these are certain very simple, very simple statistical commands that we can use in our R software. Now, one very important point that you have to remember: if your data contains only discrete counts, okay, like I was giving you the example of the number of pets that is each family holds in a group which consists of twenty families or is categorical in nature okay like the eye color recommended uh, recorded for a sample of 50 flies okay so either I have a discrete data or a categorical data the 
numerical measures okay may not be of much use the kind of commands that we learnt in the previous slide that are these commands they are not of much use okay what will i do by knowing the mean of the color of the eyes of these okay so they are not much of use so for categorical or discrete data we use the table command okay that is table bracket open bracket close this creates the frequency distribution of the given data okay now let us say if i'm talking about the eye color of these black brown blue let us say these are the three colors i'll get to know out of 50 how many bees have black eyes how many have brown eyes and how many have blue eyes okay so for that kind of a frequency distribution table you can straight away use the command table bracket open bracket close okay so this will summarize the entire data set now let us do a small example we have an inbuilt data set that is empty cards in r we'll be using that data set now it contains measurements of 11 aspects of automobile design and performance of 32 automobiles okay so i have 11 aspects so i have 11 variables okay and how many models do i have that is 32 so i'll have 32 rows and 11 columns okay that is somewhat of this size so these are the models then you can see these are the variables 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay it says 11 i let's see what's the other one okay let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it's still 10 okay no issues okay then the variables in the data set are both continuous like uh, mpg this is you can see 21 21 22.8 21.4 18.7 this is continuous data likewise disp displacement okay this is 160 160 108 258 360 so this can also be this is also continuous data and uh, the other way around i have certain discrete variables as well okay like gears okay let us see gears 4 4 4 3 3 okay so these are discrete data and this is continuous data so i know there's no point in using the summary statistical formulas for discrete data okay what is the fun to know the average number of gears these models have let us say if my answer turns out to be 4.37 it doesn't make any sense so for discrete data i won't be using any of those statistical summary measures uh, rather i'll be using the table function okay so let's go ahead and see how to solve it i'll just get into my r software okay now this is my r now let us fetch the inbuilt data sets within my r then i go to library bracket data sets library data sets close bracket i run this command now i need empty cars okay then data empty cars okay great run it okay then i fetch empty cars Now you can see I have this data that's already there within my R software. If I stretch it, okay, you can see this clearly. This is the data set I was talking about, okay. Okay, this is the thing. Now if you see, let us count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11. So in total, I have... 11 variables okay this is what uh, one column was missing in our slides so in total we have 11 variables okay now let's see what all we are required to do i have the data and let us do some functions into this data okay this is my slide let's see what can we do 
let's try some examples find the mean hp that is horsepower of all the vehicles okay now i need to find the mean horsepower so the remember the command uh, yeah one very important thing okay the moment you extract some data or create a data table or frame the first thing that you need to do is attach the data okay so first step i'll do is attach attach empty cars okay so the first thing that i'm doing is attach empty cars okay this is the data i will attach it yeah now it is attached now i can start doing any of the commands okay this is find the mean hp of all the vehicles i'll write the comment so that it will be easy for you mean hp of the vehicles okay so how do i find the mean mean bracket just put the variable that is hp okay let's see how it is written hp okay this is written in this format only so the mean hp is this okay so you got the value this is my mean hp simple right the next step what is asked find the variance in mpg for all the vehicles okay variance in mpg let us put the comment variance in mpg okay how do i calculate just var okay mpg let me see what's the case of mpg this is the correct case mpg okay now i run this command i get the variance of that mpg variable to be 36.324 okay the next question find the 20th and 80th percentile for the variable qsec okay so 20th and 80th percentile no problem i will use the command quantile okay so when i say quantile the variable is qsec let's check the case yeah it's perfect qsec now i will use the probs equal to the probabilities equal to that is probabilities could be the percentiles that i am looking for okay that is 0.20 will give me the 20th percentile and 0.80 will give me the 80th percentile simple okay just close the brackets done okay so the 20th percentile is 16.734 80th percentile is 19.332 okay then next question next part find the correlation between weight and mpg this is simple correlation between weight let us check the case this is very very crucial yeah weight and then i have mpg mpg close the brackets run okay so obviously see you can see i'm getting a negative correlation that is quite obvious the greater the weight the miles per gallon would obviously decrease so there is an inverse relationship okay i'll just put the comments okay i missed out the comments so i'll just put the comments this is to find correlation between two variables okay this is correlation between two variables okay and uh, finding this is finding the 20th and 80th percentile 
of a variable great okay so we have completed all these questions let's move ahead and see what's next okay now we'll be doing some steps or some commands for the discrete variables okay so what can we do we can get the summary counts okay first make a summary count table for the sill okay c y l so let's make a table for c y l that's quite simple okay so just remember whenever there is a discrete data don't use any of these mathematical computation these numerical computations will hardly g fetch any result okay so let's see what we are expected to do summary counts table for sill so let's write the comment summary counts table for a variable okay very simple just write table and sill c y l okay just run it you can see now i'm getting a table for the variable sill now what is the interpretation of this in the entire data i have different variables that is uh, i have vehicles with four cylinders i have vehicles with six cylinders and i have vehicles with eight cylinders so what does this mean now i have total of 11 vehicles with four cylinders i have total of seven vehicles with six cylinders and i have total of 14 vehicles with eight cylinders okay so this is the interpretation of this command table with the variable sill okay that is cylinder now what we can do next we can turn the counts into percentages okay that is to fetch the relative frequency okay now how can we do or how can we find the relative frequency let's see okay finding the relative frequency okay it's very very simple just table and sill divided by the total count of that variable okay so the function for this is length and sill length gives you the total number of count in that particular variable okay run this so now I get the percentage form okay so roughly 34.375 percent I have vehicles with four cylinders approximately 21.87 percentage of vehicles have six cylinders and 43.75 percent of vehicles have eight cylinders okay so just to summarize whatever we have learned today the first thing that we learned was to extract an inbuilt data set okay this is how you extract a data set then whenever you work on a data set you attach the data set and then and then you find the mean okay of a variable how do i find the mean of a variable mean and the variable okay in brackets then i have variance how do i calculate the variance i write var and in brackets whatever the variable is and then finding the 20th and 80th percentile you can for that matter find any percentile okay it could be 25 it could be 27 or 80 just this is the command okay quantile in brackets the variable name comma probs equal to if there are n number of percentiles that you want to calculate you can put all of them by creating a vector of it c brackets whatever the percentiles you wish to calculate okay if it's just one probs equals to let us say if i just want to calculate 20th percentile probs equals to 0 0.20 that's it okay then correlation correlation it's simple always we need two variables to find a correlation okay so cor brackets both the variables okay order is immaterial whichever way you put you get the same correlation then summary counts table this is used for discrete data okay or categorical data here i was trying to find a summary table for the variable sill so table bracket sill that is cylinder okay you get a frequency or summary table then 
finding the relative frequency this gives you the same thing in percentage of the total number of vehicles or total number on the variable so here the variable under consideration was cylinder so table in brackets sil cylinder okay and uh, divided by length and length gives you the count in that particular variable okay so length bracket sil that gives you the percentage okay this is how the output looks like right so you can get in touch with me I'm available on LinkedIn Facebook Twitter you can write to me directly whether you like my videos or not or you want to give me any feedback or suggestions write to me at Rajesh Durbala at gmail.com thanks for being such a great audience thank you